I'm Mark Holderness. I'm the Executive Secretary of the Global Forum on Agriculture Research. And it's really very interesting to talk with Land Portal about this whole issue. We've worked for a number of years in information, in accessibility of data, and really GFAR works as a multi-stakeholder forum in which the farmers, the small farmers, are the center of the process. They're not the end of the science chain, they are the shapers of the future. They're the ones who are demanding and driving innovation in all its senses. And this means we often really have to put the question of rights at the center of the work we're doing with farmers. We've worked, for example, very closely with, with people concerned with plant genetic resources and the rights of small farmers to the generations of innovation that have happened on farm to create the varieties that are used today. So those farmers' rights are now being recognized alongside breeders' rights. And we work as, as this global forum, we work with both sectors, the private sector, the civil society, the farmers at the center of it, to really look at how can this be done better? How can we help reconcile the value needed for returns to farmers with the value needed for investment in research and development of new varieties now. When it comes to land rights, we know very well that land is the core issue that we hear all the time from small farmers. Access to land is fundamental to their being able and willing to adopt any new innovation, make any changes, bring any practices in. If they don't own that land, they don't have access to that land next year, what is the return on any change, on any innovation? So land access is essential, it's particularly essential for youth and we're seeing a huge problem now globally of youth moving off the land, looking for jobs elsewhere that often don't exist and then we end up with the social problems that we see in the cities. Instead of that we're looking to work much more with rural communities, shaping their own futures, looking at what they want of their land, what they want of their future agriculture and therefore what innovations do we need to get there and that enabling environment, access to land, equitable use of land is fundamental. And I can give you a very good example just recently, Colombia. Colombia, the peace settlement has finally been agreed after 40, 50 years of conflict. Central to that is the rights of small farmers, the knowledge that they have, the access to land that they need. And the Colombian peace settlement has done tremendous things in bridging those gaps in bringing together small farmers, access to land, rights to varieties, rights to food sovereignty, very much tied in with, with national security, national peace, national future, national growth for those poorest people. So this is why as GFAR we're very much focused on how do we ensure no one is left behind by development, ensuring that the resource poor farmers are no longer the left behind of innovation, for they're the ones actually who most need to be lifted out of poverty, to be provided with the tools, the resources, the enabling environment to allow them to grow themselves out of poverty using the knowledge and innovation that's coming out of agriculture research, development, all the sectors that we deal with who are making knowledge work for farmers and for, for poor consumers as well. So the, the link with Land Coalition is very important to us, how we actually bring together the opportunity of knowledge around land and its use and make that happen in ways that are constructive, that are development focused, that are really ensuring that the poor are not left behind but are part of the wave of development. Thank you.